Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining today's info session on what's new with the Stellar Community Fund. So my name is Anke Liu, and I am a program manager at the Stellar Development Foundation, a nonprofit founded in 2014 to support development and growth of the open source Stellar Network. So at SDF, my main focus is actually leading strategy and execution of the Stellar Community Fund. Uh, and I will use both abbreviations today. So SDF for Stellar Development Foundation and SCF for Stellar Community Fund. So bear with me, you'll be hearing, you'll be hearing SDF and SCF used intertextually. So, um, but yeah, as for SDF, we're already at our fourth iteration of the fund, but this time it's bigger, better, and faster than ever before. Uh, and this is super exciting, but before I dive into the details, I noticed that we have some new folks here, so I'll briefly explain what SCF is. So uh, the Stellar Community Fund, or SCF for short, as I mentioned, is an open application awards program managed by the Stellar Development Foundation, with the main goal to boost development for startups and individual developers and developer te uh, teams built on... Uh, building projects on both Stellar and now also Soroban, Stellar's new native smart contracts platform as well. But unlike most SCF grants, SCF also relies on the uh, input, input from the Stellar community for award allocation, structure discussion, expertise, and feedback on projects, and even engineering work to keep the fund uh, running, up and running and developing. So the community part is actually really unique and vital to the fund. Uh, it increases transparency, decentralization, and diversity in all its processes, which are crucial to building a very strong ecosystem that's built to last. And for submitting projects, this not only means that uh, they get a chance to win funding, but they can also receive helpful feedback and support, making invaluable connections and also acquire a sense of belonging in the Stellar ecosystem overall. Uh, Fund's actually been around since 2016. It's crazy, um, along with its predecessor, Stellar Build Challenge, if any of you remember that one. Um, and so far, we've awarded over 210 million uh, XLM uh, to over 415 award recipients. And we have a community that's up and growing. And now already, I checked earlier today, like more than 2,600 community members. So. Super excited to see these numbers, and I'm even ex more excited to get it up this year. So, um, to help bootstrap this Soroban ecosystem of like tools, protocol, dApps, and resources necessary necessary for the for Soroban uh, to thrive, SCF doesn't only offer awards as like has done previously, but also a startup bootcamp to help accelerate projects from idea to MVP stage. And both of these kind of like sub program, they aren't uh, mutual, mutually exclusive. They have separate submission and review timelines and you can submit to either one. Um, so I'm going to dive into both of these today a bit and then let's start with awards. So SCF awards. So every four weeks, yes, you've heard that right. Every four weeks, um, developers and startup can request funding up to $150,000 worth of XLM to accelerate development of three month long projects, uh, Stellar and Sorbonne projects. And the next, we have actually open submissions today. So the next submission deadline is four weeks from now, which is March 12th at uh, end of day on, on PST time. So this is very exciting. I've also put a few uh, of our winners uh, of previous rounds on here uh, that you can see and definitely check them out on our website, communityfund.stellar.org slash pro uh, projects. But, um, some of the main changes up to the award structure is that the submission deadlines and reviews and award distribution are actually four weeks. So if some of you that have been a bit with us before, you can remember that we actually had bi-annual uh, rounds. Um, so that would be twice a year. And now it's almost, I guess, six times, there, there are six times more opportunities to submit. And this is very exciting. It's also very, a little bit more stressful for me. But I'm sure we can figure it out. Um, this is really, this cadence is really important uh, to make sure that we have enough opportunities um, and can uh, to submit for projects, especially now that Soroban is uh, currently on testnet and is going on mainnet um, within the next six months. And also uh, that awards are being um, distributed faster. And this is also very important for to boost development. 
Um, the second part is that, that there's actually no cap on the number of uh, award recipients um, that we can fund, which is interesting and exciting. Um, but it's also it's also um, very different from our previous like, competition kind of structure. Uh, anyone who has been with the SCF before knows that we basically like, we had um, set award prize pools. Right now, we don't have that anymore. So it's basically like if a project meets the eligibility and the standards and the review panel is okay with it and community vote, pass community vote, then they can receive their awards. And more details on this, by the way, um, in the SCF handbook, and I'm going over it in a bit as well. Kind of the third main element is that projects need to complete proof of intent for community vote. And this is a very important one since the previous two changes actually make it kind of like easy to uh, request funding. And there needs to be some kind of um, some kind of friction in order to make sure that we actually do get projects that build on Stellar and Sorbonne and are not just in it for the quick cash grab. Um, so let me go into that a bit more in detail, right? Um, so this is kind of like how the SCF awards work and there's like def different stages. Uh, right now, submission. Submission will basically last for four weeks. So submission deadlines are every four weeks. They are always ongoing. And at the same time, we have a review process um, and, um, and the proof of intent and community vote process uh, happening at the same time. Um, starting, let's say, if you are submitting for the first time, you, it will be called initial submission. And um, right now you can find the link to do so on communityfund.stellar.org slash awards. Um, uh, on the, uh, after the submission deadline, which is in this case on March 12th, um, the, your submission will be reviewed uh, by, an in, by a review uh, selection panel, which consists of members both of the Stellar Development Foundation and of the Stellar community. Um, we call them verified members, and I will go into that more in a bit. Um, but basically, we have a set of submission eligibility guidelines, um, and you will need to pass that and the selection panel will take a look, making sure that your submission makes sense, is, is, uh, is clear, is doable, that your team looks good. Um, and then if you pass, you will, need to go, uh, you will need to go through a KYC process. More details also on this in the SCF handbook um, to abide by uh, our participant eligibility guidelines. Um, so those are kind of like two processes that are part of the kind of the initial selection. And once you've done so, these selected submissions will actually go to the proof of intent phase. Now, what is this? Because I said it a few times. Um, basically, once you have been selected by the selection panel, you pass KYC, you will receive an XLM award that's equal to 10% of your requested budget. So Let's say if you requested a budget, uh, you know, for your three-month budget for $100,000, then you will receive 10% uh, of that, which is $10,000 to complete your first deliverable. Um, and this is really important because we have to, we want to make sure that you um, actually start the work and that you, you know, you can get set up and you have scoped your pro pro project correctly. So likely like this first deliverable will be something that you can do uh, within two week, two three weeks or two to four weeks um, and should be equal like the project scope should also be equal to 10 percent uh, of the total project scope and if if you if you don't remember everything i'm saying right now make sure it's no no problem i can explain it again and it's also in the scf handbook um but once you've done this, it will go through a review, and then it will, uh, and if you, and that and the reviewer has to make sure that you actually completed your first deliverable, and if you did, you do also have the opportunity to change, um, to change your submission form. So let's say you know you finally started work on Stellar or your Sorbonne project, you realize some of the deliverables might not match up. No problem, you do have a have an opportunity to kind of switch things around a bit. Uh, and once that's kind of reviewed and, and approved uh, by the selection, same selection panel, it will go out for community vote, uh, who, who will uh, vote for uh, the project which they think should be awarded their full budget. Now, um, for the first, I do have to note here that for the first uh, few months, especially like for the first six rounds, I think, 
um, we, the, the selection panel will actually make a final decision on the community vote outcome. And this is because um, voting structures work, will work very different from, from, this, uh, from the next few rounds or like this structure than previous structures. And we have to make sure that um, the desired outcome is there and that the community's vision is actually um, reflected in, in, these, in, in, in these voting outcome. And as you know, with, with a lot of voting mechanisms, it's quite difficult to get things right. So over the next few months, we'll actually also work in tandem to work on that voting mechanism and tweak it to uh, perfection or as much as possible, at least. Um, yeah. So you know what? I will likely pause here for a minute to see if there are any questions on this particular part. Let me go back. Oh, I saw some uh, questions already. Anyone want to unmute? I can. I, I'll also ask for questions later on, but if anything doesn't make sense right now, I can quickly explain. <laughs> Uh, hello, uh, my question is the bootcamp program. Is it before the initial submission or like during the selection? Yeah, I'm actually going to uh, talk a bit about the startup bootcamp uh, in a bit, uh, but they're mutually exclusive programs. And actually uh, the submissions right now are before. Um, so, so like the next submission deadline for the uh, SCF awards will be March 12th. And then uh, to the uh, SCF, uh, so, so the first stellar startup camp will be, the bootcamp dates will be in April and the submission deadline will be March uh, 28th. So it's a bit later, yeah. Okay, well, if there's no more questions uh, and, and you can, oh, go ahead. Yeah, hi, Aka. Um, so my question is around the duration of uh, the entire four phases of the submission of the, yeah. uh, the entire four phases. So my question is, uh, is it a single week for each of those phases or perhaps uh, uh, a whole month or perhaps three months for the whole four phases? I, I just want to get that clear. Thank you. Yes, yes, that's a great, um, great question. Can you see, I just changed my, yeah, okay. We, you can change my, see my screen. Um, so this is the SCF handbook and here are kind of the, all the nitty gritty details that you all want to know. So if you go into award structure and time, timeline, there's actually a little bit more of a um, process here that you can see. So basically uh, the initial submissions like are open for four weeks, then it's quite fast from that point on. So the initial submission review by the selection panel will only take a week. And then after that, you will know whether you have been selected or not. We will ask for KYC information. Then after that, uh, after that, you can, I mean, basically once you hear that you have been collect, uh, you have been, uh, you've made it, there are no issues with your KYC, you can start building. And then you have a minimum of two weeks um, to, to, send, to send in your proof of intent. So basically you have to send it in before the next, submission deadline um, so minimum two weeks and then after that there will be a review and after that we'll actually have community votes so there's for to get your full award so you will get start start building a minimum of I guess like one to two weeks you can start building and, and get your first 10 percent reward and then for the full award after that um, it will it, it, like once you submit proof of intent, it will also take these like two weeks um, and then we'll go to award distribution, if that makes sense. Yes, thank you. It's quite a fast project uh, process if you compare it to, um, to what we did before uh, in the past few years, it would actually take like months to to get answers sometimes. Um, and now I see it is quite quick. So yeah, I would love to um, definitely check out the SCF handbook. Okay, um, just double checking. Okay, I don't think, let me see. New award cap being going. Can the no award cap be ongoing if you apply every... 
I'm, I'm not sure, like, uh, Juan and I understand your question correctly. Um, but basically, th there are no caps on the number of um, submissions that can be, no, no, uh, yeah, that can be awarded. Um, yeah, okay. Well, for now, I will continue with the, um, with this presentation. And then if you have any more questions at the end, feel free to let me know. Um, all right, so as I mentioned before, like there were SCF awards and the SCF startup camp. And the SCF startup camp is actually quite, um, quite exciting. So um, it's a virtual and global um, five day long boot camp, which really connects startups uh, interested in building on Stellar or Sorbonne, doesn't matter, uh, to um, like go from graduate from idea stage to like user validated, uh, to a user validated prototype. Um, and this is with mentors from both the Stellar Development Foundation, um, DFS Lab, which is an accelerator and investment company that we work with, um, and the Stellar community and ecosystem at large. So also like, uh, like likely there will be mentors from, from anchors and from other projects in the ecosystem that can really um, lift, uh, lift, our, yeah, lift the ecosystem up as well. Um, this is quite exciting. So these actually these startup camps, we have done a few of these boot camps in the past, um, and they have uh, they kind of varied from structure. But now it's actually open to anyone who wants to submit. Um, like globally, it will also be on uh, three different time zones. So if let's say it doesn't matter if you are in that kind of Asia Pacific or Americas or um, Europe and Middle Middle East and Africa time zone. We can, uh, you can ch choose to which time zone works best for you. The first batch will happen on April 17th to the 21st, and the next admission deadline will be on March 28th. So it's coming up uh, in about already like a month or so, a month and a half or so. It's, it's crazy how fast things go. Um, it's very exciting. So we have a lot, we've had, had a lot of um, positive reviews in the past of the boot camp. And um, it can really help both people. It's, it's especially good for helping people uh, and helping teams and startups who are just getting started with Stellar. But it has also proven helpful for projects that have already had um, an idea uh, to kind of like start uh, an idea for a new product or, or something else. So definitely uh, check this out. You, and you can also so you can submit to both the awards and the startup camp. So it's, it's, uh, it's mutually like exclusive in that way. And it can both be valuable. Um, some, some of the additional benefits for both award recipients and startup camp finalists that we are in, introducing this, this year are uh, opportunities for follow-up funding. This has been in the past as well, but we want to really make more connections with accelerators, VCs, um, and we have our own um, uh, grant programs within the Stellar Development Foundation, such as the Matching Fund, Marketing Grant, and Enterprise Fund, that are opportunities for both of these. And we can uh, we, we directly connect uh, with those programs. Um, there will also be investor demo days. So we have had um, candidate pitches in the past. We will actually have both. Um, so there will be both like uh, community pitches and there will also be investor demo days, which are a bit more exclusive. Um, then we'll, uh, we are introducing more support from the Stellar Development Foundation ecosystem as well, where we can in have them get one-to-one uh, -one meetings. And also this year we are um, looking to uh, publish a new series, new blog series called SCF Founder Stories where every award recipient and startup camp finalist can submit to. So it's quite exciting. Um, then, so that is for the startup camp. And uh, as I mentioned before, community involvement is very important in the Stellar Community Fund. Um, I mean, it's in the name, right? So it must have some, some important purpose. Um, so in the Stellar, uh, you, individuals can, uh, with a long-standing interest in the Stellar ecosystem, can actually become verified members. And here in the Discord, you might have seen some people who have verified role. Um, soon, we will also have a tiered system, uh, which is kind of like an upgrade. Uh, it's not implemented yet, but this and these are um, some ideas that we have been working very closely with um, in the in the verified panel uh, group. 
So um, some of the benefits of these tears, and it kind of depends on which tear, and you can, you can see a, a few more details in the SCF handbook, but they will include like tier specific NFTs, um, voting for projects, which is very, very important, giving like valuable feedback and expertise to projects, being a mentor in, this, in the SCF startup camp. Um, this, this year, actually, mentorship will be very flexible, anywhere from giving one-to-one -one, uh, conversations to attending the demo day to, attend, um, to leading workshops in your specific area of expertise. Um, so it's a really exciting opportunity. I'm definitely going to reach out on that. Um, but also, um, there is, you can be, uh, so tier one actually can, the, so the highest tier can be part of the selection panel. And this is very important. Um, and uh, so that they can give, so that especially like in the selection, there's a distributed um, and diverse um, uh, process. Then uh, we will also introduce governance proposals. We actually already had our first kind of, um, which was to discuss the tier names. Very exciting. Um, the tier names will actually be, uh, so tier three, which is the lower tiers, will, will be Pathfinder. Tier two, which are kind of the voting tier, will be Navigator. And the highest tier, who's able to join the selection panel, will be, will be um, Pilot. So I'm very excited to kind of like have this going around and we will start to really, we have had informal governance discussions, but we will kind of formalize the structure a bit, and there will also be exclusive invitation to events and, and many, many more. So definitely keep a heads up. I'm sure we'll, we'll start to officially um, announce more soon, but those are some of the changes that we are implementing this time. Um, then for the resources, um, we have our website is communityfund.stellar.org. So it has everything you need. It's more of also like our, uh, our marketing website. So the, all of the details actually live on the handbook. And you can find that on that link here. Um, but here on the Discord is where all the uh, communication happens and where we also have project discussions and governance discussions and more. And then there's also Medium where we uh, publish like community blog posts and more and updates. Um, yeah, so definitely check those out. If you're not ready for SCF or you're not yet read Yeti ready or you want to like need some time to noodle on a submission or you need some time to learn Sorbon or Stellar. Um, especially for Sorbon and Stellar, we have now, um, there's two programs around Stellar Quest where you can launch your Stellar and Sorbon education uh, to earn rewards for completing exciting challenges. So definitely give it up for Stellar Quest. But we also have Sorbonathon Equinox where you can really do more of the experimenting and tinkering. Uh, on Sorbon and, and submit tutorials and, and more. Um, yeah, and SCF will always be there once you're ready. So that was my presentation. I'm very excited to have you all here and I would love to know if there are some questions. All right, all right. Let me see, I'm, I'm trying to go through it. So feel free to unmute yourself if you can. If you can't, uh, make sure to um, put your question in the chat section on the SCF Discord. Yeah, it's right here in the top right corner of the screen. Let me see. I'm not sure. So like, I do see some questions, but I'm not sure if people, if that's a question for me. So feel free to re-enter it in this case. I'll give people a few more minutes. Okay, so Ashraf is asking, if your project is stellar only, does that impact your chance of success? That's a great question. Um, I would say that currently, like, uh, there's definitely opportunities to build on stellar, but likely and, uh, if you're building on stellar, it's, it's to um, like build any sort of financial product. And sometimes it can be that the bar to actually um, go live on the market is, is pretty high. You might need some... Um, you know, special licenses or whatnot. Um, there's definitely like no, like the review panel will definitely not like uh, discriminate between the two, if that is your question. Um, but it's more on the actual um, user kind of liveness, especially for smaller teams. 
That said, like Soroban is is the smart contracts platform on Stellar. It's currently in preview re release on the future net. So that is something to keep in mind, but it will be on mainnet soon. And um, there's just a lot more opportunities uh, and of innovation uh, and actually in the space and some of the more creative and innovative um, facets of like DeFi and, and, and beyond, right? Um, so that that is one of the really important parts of that. There there are more like opportunities for innovation. Actually, there was this great explanation um, between the two that my um, and I have it somewhere here. Let me try to find it. Um, oh, not this not this screen. I have too many screens open. It is in the SCF handbook, and there's also a great FAQ for some of your questions, but I'll answer them here directly. Um, what is the difference kind of between the two? Um, you can see Stellar as kind of like the Toyota, take you from work every day, you know, gets good gas mileage, uh, safe, dependable, gets the job done, right? Um, but Sorbonne, Sorbonne is, uh, you can kind of get a little crazy with it. There is more opportunities for innovation, right? Um, you might want to get a lift kit to get you up that treacherous mountain slope, snorkel to forge the Canyon River. There's a lot more opportunities. And actually on the SCF website, we have added some what to build here. Th these are just some like ideas for inspiration, but you can go beyond this as well. So there's just a lot more that you can do. Um, okay. Another question. Did Ashraf, did that? Okay. Yeah, that answered the question. Perfect. Um, let me see. How does one become a verified member? That's a great question. Um, so currently, as I mentioned, like uh, coming soon will be that tier um, tier system where we'll likely it will be easier to become a verified member. We'll have like some bot or something that might help on the SF Discord. But for now, um, let me see. It's actually here on the SCF handbook where you can. Um, so this is kind of like the legacy verified membership where you can apply here to become an SCF verified member. There's this application and then we will review it. Um, but in coming time, there will be, it will be actually this, this kind of system where we will, um, depending on the tier, tier three will be really easy to get. It will be like a Discord bot. And then tier uh, two will actually need to be voted in by the existing tier two members and same for tier three. So it's a little bit different in that sense, a little bit more transparent and decentralized. Uh, yeah, so head over to the SCF handbook. Um, Okay. Uh, can a project be vanilla Stellar? I, by the way, I really love that term, Stellar. That's a great term. Other people have called it um, Stellar Classic, and that's so confusing because of Ethereum Classic. So vanilla Stellar, the way to go. Great, Jules. Um, so can a project be vanilla Stellar and Sorbonne at the same time? Yes, it can. So um, Sorbon actually currently is it works only with Stellar the Stellar network, but actually it's a it's a um, it's a the smart contracts platform that is designed to also work with multiple networks. So yeah, it can indeed work, and it should work hopefully because Stellar is the best, right? With the <laughs> with the Stellar network, yeah. So that makes a lot of sense. Can the funding amount be adjusted? For example, if seventy five k dollars is requested but the community thinks that projects should be done for less say 50k can the amount be dynamically adjusted or tied to performance goals yes um yeah so it is actually tied to performance goals you can adjust it still i think like generally what happens um and there are some budget guidelines around this as well you can ask for anywhere between 10k and 150k um, it also depends a little bit if you are a community and education organizer, it's a bit lower, um, but there's still some to be to be had. Um, and then, as you can see here, actually, the um, budget is, is kind of depends on deliverables, as we call them. And you can see kind of this is a example of how like a grid can be filled out uh, where you have like several items and you have like a required budget. So, yes, you do have to kind of think about it. Think about the deliverables. Let's say, um, after, you know, you've been approved, like generally, like we, you know, budget look good and then you re receive your 10% and then you realize something is wrong. So let's say you have to change your budget um, and you can also have gotten some uh, yeah, community feedback. You can still um, update your budget in that sense. But once you do make, uh, I guess, like large 
request to update your submission in that sense, we will need to like re-review the selection panel will need to re-review -re it if that makes sense because it changed so much. Um, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, Jay, let me know if that makes sense. You can feel free to unmute too. Um, let me see. Classic is a Toyota, lol. <laughs> and then I guess Soravan is a jetpack with no helmet allowed. Well, hopefully we'll get helmets at some point. We've got to be safe, you know. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's got yeah. That's uh, that's what I think the now came up with that. And that's that's stellar. Vanilla stellar is kind of like the Toyota. You know, I have a Toyota Prius. You know, it's great. Like it's a great car. But you know, if you want to go like places and if you want to go like you know and be innovative, you know, you have the opportunity with Sauron. So it's exciting. Okay. Anka, so this is Jay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Your your answer makes sense. Thank you. Okay. So, perfect. Great. Yeah. Thanks. Awesome, awesome. And definitely like check out the SCF handbook for this. I'm just like reading from the screen. So uh, another question is, um, is the SCF handbook being um, updated or edited currently? I don't seem to remember that tiers and roles being there last week. Yes, uh, well, we have added them actually last uh, Wednesday. So they have been there since then. Um, and, uh, well, you don't need the daily check. I think like this was really part of the overall updates of the SCF handbook. Now, that said, I would definitely um, make sure to uh, submit and like get uh, get into the verified member panel uh, because they will they are also currently discussing like the latest and greatest. But I think like it's in terms of like governance proposals, we should also in some way make that a bit more transparent as a whole. Um, and I, I'm I'm sure that's coming very soon. So those. So like while the award structure and the Stellar Startup Camp, those are kind of already set. Uh, the community involvement part and the voting mechanism, those are, those are things that are still very much in discussion currently with the Verified Member panel. Raheem says, Stellar is the best. Woo, yeah, it is. It sure is. Well, hey, I'm a bit biased, obviously, working at the Stellar Development Foundation, but you know, you know, you're, you're here for a reason, right? Um, Okay, so have you considered having a section on the SCF dis Discord that is for people's ideas or more like a suggestion for um, potential project by idea people who are not this? This is actually a great idea, our crypto hobbyists. I think definitely we should have a section. I have, I've actually like, I think we should, we might need to do a little bit of a um, house cleaning on the, on the SCF Discord um, in general. So I would love, I'd love it to have like a, um, a, a channel like that. To, to get ideas. Do you have some good ones? <laughs> you know, I'll remind you. Yes, I will know. We'll make sure to get it. All right. I did share, so like we, we are like still sharing some ideas also from our end into like Sorbon. Um, legal team definitely needed to review some before we put it to the uh, larger pro project. So, but it is coming. Um, See, new regulation. Would community self-regulation of Stellar be viewed as a deliverable, especially with regulations rapidly approaching? Um, does that mean like uh, DAO tooling? Juan, do you mean DAO tooling? Because um, that is definitely something uh, with Sorbonne that we are planning to fund um, that, that SCF awards can, can help with. Yeah, kind of like governance structures and 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 um and DAO tools. Okay. Oh yeah. Is so okay. Uh, Ruth asks. Um, oh wait. Uh, a question before was sorry, I missed it. How do you pay Stellar Token or USD? So actually, all SCF awards are uh, kind of like uh, denominated um, in um usd but then um paid out in xlm so as you can see that you can uh, request up to like hundred fifty thousand dollars um, us dollars worth of funding um but it actually like once uh, you're ready to pay out it, it will be paid out in an xlm yeah and there's actually like if you want to know about the valuation there's many um i think like it's actually, let me grab my slide again center oh, that's not it I'm like too top. Yeah, this would be it. Um, it's actually like if you just scroll down the bottom, it's a, on the day off. It's calculated. So yeah. Um, Ruth asks, is Sorbon ready to pass projects to production? Um, yes. So 
So that's a great question. It's actually um, right now, as I mentioned, a uh, Soroban is in preview release, and this means that um, it's currently not uh, on the main net yet. Um, so likely in the next, uh, like maybe like uh, like I think I go perhaps like uh, around June. I think right now is the idea to have the main net launch. Um, but that doesn't mean that people cannot start building yet. I think like right now, it's very important for people to get started on Sorbonne. It's not necessarily like a super easy learning curve. And because there are so many things that you can do, um, it's, it's just really important to get started early on this. And so once like mainnet launches, our goal is really to have this ecosystem of ready to, I guess, like flip the switch from from, I guess, testnet or futurenet, testnet to like mainnet and um, really get uh, and really get started on it. Yeah. And so that's also like what SCF awards are for. So you don't have to submit an already active project, right? Uh, which is also a bit different from uh, previous previous uh, rounds. You will receive, well, and it's actually here. I'll, I'll, let me pop it up. Let's see. Submission eligibility. So you will actually need to have like either well researched or tested concept, minimum viable product, or a high level architecture uh, model um, with a dedicated project plan for three months to boost development for three months. Yeah. Great. Uh, are there any more questions? Sorry, I've been just talking, I feel like. <laughs> Does that make sense, Ruth? Feel free to unmute as well. Perfect. Um, by the way, but do you have like a, like a date, like for example, when it will be available to be in production? Oh, that's a great question. I think you should definitely, so I would recommend anyone who is interested in Sorban go to the Stellar Developers Discord, um, which is, let me pop the link here. Um, let me see, actually it should be on here as well. Somewhere. Da, da, da. Uh, Discord Stellar Developers. Yeah. So it's actually the Stellar Developers Discord right here. Um, there are some some Sorbon help, Sorbon Dev, Sorbon Chat. I think last time they said like around June, but like that means that people need to like start, I guess, now, right? Um, to to really get excited about it and whatnot. So yeah, and if you want to learn, again, like I mentioned, um, if you want to learn more... Oh, actually, it looks like you don't see my screen because it launched the app, sorry. Uh, Discord flaws. Um, but if you want to kind of learn more, Stellar Quest is really the way to kind of get started. Oh, quest.stellar.org is the way to get started on a Sorbonne. Um, and that you can earn some cool rewards sometimes as well. I think they're called Sorbonne Quests. And you can sign in, and there's like some, um, yeah, some of the initial quest to get started. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, Morgan, Morgan says, I like the when it's ready approach. Smart contract platforms already exist and we need to ship one. That's epic. Yeah, this is actually really exciting all. Um, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity to really get started. There's a lot of opportunities um, to get funding and to boost development of your project. Um, it's it's a um, it's it's a real greenfield opportunity right now, and you can see like all of the other ecosystems, a blockchain, other blockchain chain ecosystems out there are kind of like built already. Um, but this one is just starting, which means that like the likely the um, like first mover businesses are are have have a lot of like chance to be like successful in that stand standpoint. So definitely get on this opportunity. All right, seems like oh, perfect. Fawn says, uh, thanks for, for all the info. My questions are answered. Uh, back to cleaning the house. Yes, that's what I did all day yesterday. So definitely understand you there. Are there any more questions? OK. 
Okay, it seems like some people are typing, so you can also unmute if if you want to. <laughs> yeah, Tyler would be disappointed in me, actually. But I, I haven't logged in, so you don't know what I have. You don't know what, what stellar quest badges I have. I have all of the... Um, well, they actually reset. So I when, when it first came out, I got all of my like Stellar Quest um, Season 1 badges. But um, yeah. Oh, yeah, Morgan, I'm sorry. You will be... At, you, should, you should become a very fat member. Morgan has been very active in the Stellar Dev Discord. So... All right, it seems like, uh, let me know if you have any more questions. Uh, doesn't seem like anyone has right now, but I will be available um, in, uh, I'm just generally available in the Stellar, um, kind of in the Discord here. And there's many, many Verified members as you already saw in this chat that can also help you out, which is really exciting. If you have any questions and I'll just go back to this slide for a minute. Um, like we have, make sure to go to the handbook. The handbook is here. It has everything that you need. Um, and I'll look forward to seeing what everyone's building.